Hi, I'm Bob Baradarian, and welcome to my office. Today I want to talk to you about nail fungus. So after 12 years in practice, I've noticed that there's all sorts of home remedies and all, all sorts of different things that you learn about foot fungus and nail fungus. Some true, some not true. So I want to go over them with you. Number one is where does fungus live? Well, fungus lives everywhere. It's all over the skin, and it's really all over the environment. But some people are more susceptible to it than others. And what happens is that the fungus will go through the nail and under the cuticle into an area called the matrix. And it will start to flourish in the matrix. And from there, it can start to grow out as the nail grows out. It will also be in the skin and penetrate through the fairly superficial areas of the skin. So how does it spread? Well, it can spread from the nail to the skin, and from the skin to the nail, and from nail to nail. So it's very important to treat both the nail and the skin together when you want to get rid of fungus. Okay, let's talk about some over-the-counter or home remedies that you may have heard of and try to tell you whether they work or not. Number one is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil has been around for years and is actually a very strong antifungal. And it actually is not so bad for treatment of the skin. Unfortunately, the tea tree oil molecule is too large to penetrate through the nail and get into the matrix. Therefore, when tea tree oil is used in its pure form to try to treat nail fungus, it rolls off the nail and doesn't penetrate. Therefore, you're really not getting treatment for the nail fungus. Number two is Vicks VapoRub. This is the material that mom used to rub on your chest when you had a cold. And you remember that really, really strong minty smell? Well, that's menthol. Menthol is a very, very strong antifungal. And it's been shown for years to have very good antifungal qualities. Rubbing Vicks VapoRub on your nail doesn't work very well. Because number one, it doesn't penetrate. And number two, as soon as you put a sock on, the material will just come right off the nail and doesn't really get into the nail to treat the nail at the source of the fungal problem, which is the matrix. Number three is Listerine. Listerine is a very, very strong antibacterial, antifungal material that's used as a mouthwash. But in your mouth, you use it for about 10 to 15 seconds and spit it out. Certain people have tried soaking their feet in it for 15 to 20 minutes. And what this causes is peeling, dry, itchy skin that can actually be really problematic, so I highly don't recommend it. And last is vinegar. White vinegar is again a fairly strong, harsh material that has been shown to be both antifungal and antibacterial. The problem is that it has a very, very nasty smell, and people will smell you walking down the street if you use it to treat fungus. I recommend that you think strongly and seek lo local care from a local doctor if you have a problem and they'll give you better options.